Hi guys, it is me, Brian here, coming at you with my yearly tradition now. I feel like this is actually my third year doing an iPhone unboxing. Here we are. I actually brought along some friends. As you can see, I brought every single iPhone box I've ever had, besides the iPhone 4, because actually my dad sold my iPhone 4 and then he took the box. <laughs> he took the box and sold it, so I was kind of a little bit bummed out about that, but you know, you can enjoy these guys right here. These guys all got replaced and this guy is going to be replaced as well. I've had this phone for a year. I'm actually upgrading from it. I do this every single year. I always get a new iPhone every year. I feel like I tell myself I'm not gonna get a new iPhone every year. And then I just end up randomly getting the damn phone because I just need says something that I really like about the phone and I end up getting it. So I did a vlog at the Apple Store, a little pickup process, the process of picking up my phone. So actually the pre-order process to get this phone was kind of nuts. I think this phone like really sold out really quickly. So I actually was using the Apple Store app and I kept refreshing and refreshing every single day to see if I can actually get this phone. Actually, I got lucky. I was able to pick one up a day after launch. If you do want one of the iPhone 14s, I would recommend using the Apple Store app and refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and see if you can get it earlier. You all probably want to know what I picked. Obviously, you can see by the title of the video, but I did end up picking up uh, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Here it is. I decided to go with Space Black this year. Looked at the deep purple. I saw it online. I was like, I was this close to getting it. Also, I have a strange curse with colored iPhones. Every single time I've had a colored iPhone, they've had a major flaw with them ever since I got it and until the end of its life. No, I'm not. I'm not getting a cursed iPhone again. I'm super excited to get into this phone, so let's get into it right now. So obviously, as you know, there's these peel tabs, so let's peel this off. Let's do the peel. Tab. Hello. Ha, yes, success. Come on. Oh, Stop, that looks so good. Look at it. That is amazing. But in real life, in my lighting right now, it looks pretty space black. So let's give it a moment to shine here. Look at that. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see, but look at those cameras. Look how thick those cameras are. I am of course gonna be comparing this to my iPhone 13 and seeing if the cameras are any good. But they say the camera's excellent every year. It could be trash, we don't know. Let's do it. A whole damn. Here it is, uh, the rest of the box, there's a wire, no one cares. There is not a SIM card ejector this year. So usually this pamphlet would have a SIM card in it, but they switched to eSIM this year, which apparently people have issues with. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue with, but we'll see how it goes setting up. So there's no more SIM card because Apple is cheap. And then of course there's pamphlet that no one reads. And there's one singular Apple sticker because Apple likes to play games and not give us more than one Apple sticker. Oh my God, that is so pretty. This one feels lighter to me. I don't know why, but this phone feels a little bit lighter to me. I, I think I'm tripping or something. Maybe it's because this phone has a glass screen protector on it, but this phone feels lighter. So here's the difference. As you can see, I'm trying to make sure the ring light shows it. The camera bump is a little bit bigger. As you can tell, they're pretty much the same thickness, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these sides. I'm trying not to touch the sides, but yeah. This phone is freaking pretty. Let's do the peel. Oh, that sounds so good. And I'm already seeing that dynamic island. I'm too afraid to touch it right now. Look at this. It is gorgeous. I love a black iPhone because it is black on the front and black on the sides. This is a gorgeous looking phone. You can kind of see, you can see, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the rumors, but there was supposed to be an eye hole this year. Well, unfortunately, eye hole does exist, but it is replaced in software with a dynamic island, which we'll talk more about. All right, so enough blah, blah, blah. Let's turn this phone on for the first time and experience that dynamic island together. So let's turn it on. Today would be nice. I'm shaking, oh, look at that, it's turning on. I've never seen an iPhone turn on before. So let's let it boot up. Oh. oh, that was different. Hello, look at that. Oh my goodness, that dynamic island looks so 
different. Look at that. So there it is right there, the dynamic island. Let's swipe up to get started. English, United States. Quick start, we're actually not gonna do quick start this year. We're gonna set up manually. We are going to set up manually. For some reason, this, this screen definitely seems a little tiny bit bigger to me. That could just be because of the dynamic island, but that could be different. It's gonna take a few minutes to activate your iPhone, so do that. Face ID, let's set up face ID. So I've seen that the face ID experience is a little bit different. Face ID, yo, look at that, that is so cool. That ever use face ID with a mask. I like to do that a lot, it works really good. So, the scan complete, look at that, look at that. That is so cool, the dynamic island is so cool. I'm so excited for this feature, and it kind of, I love how the animations work, it is so freaking cool. So again, those camera bumps are just freaking huge. Set up an eSIM, so I can transfer from another iPhone, it's gonna transfer my phone number to another iPhone. I'm gonna cover this up. Transfer phone number, transfer number. Okay, now it's telling me cellular setup is complete, so let's do that. Continue, now we're adding my Apple Card on here. I have an Apple Card, that's how I buy this phone every year. I put it on my Apple Card and then I get like cash back. And like, it, it's super easy. I don't trust going through carriers anymore to get an iPhone. It is just so much easier to go directly through Apple and just get an Apple Card and just, you know, do it that way. So we're adding my Apple Card right now. Look at that, that is just such an inky, beautiful phone. Look at that. Oh my god, that is so hot. Emergency SOS. So this is a brand new feature called Emergency SOS. So the iPhone 14s now have uh, crash detection. So that means it can, if you get into a car crash, the phone will sense it and call emergency services for you. And Emergency SOS by a satellite. So if you're out of a space without cell service, you can actually make a 911 phone call, which is super awesome and super cool. So that's coming in the fall, so it's not available yet. And welcome to iPhone. We are ready. Let's swipe up to get started. Yo, look at that. It is ready to be set up. Now that we are completely set up, you can see the dynamic island. So I heard sometimes if you like tap the dynamic island, it like moves. Oh, it's moving. Look at that. Look at that. It moves. That is so freaking weird. Anyways, we're going to test out the front-facing camera now. So let's test out this front-facing camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It definitely is a little tiny bit different. So, <laughs> it's really hard to tell. It focuses a lot better. Let's just try to get close up. Oh my god, look at the differences. So on the iPhone 14, it focuses extremely well. It locks on to focus, so you get really, really good crispy detail. On this one, it's decent, but it is completely out of focus. Now we have three diff four different focal lengths. We have 0.5, 1, 2, and 3, which is actually super freaking cool. That 2x is actually going to be extremely handy because actually it's just cropping on the sensor a little bit, so that is just super freaking cool. But anyways, awesome. So I'm very excited to keep testing out the camera. Let's test out the dynamic island. So I think I may have some music on here. We're gonna figure this out. It's gonna want me to do Apple Music. I'm not doing Apple Music, so. I do have some music on here, so. I'm gonna test out play music. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit and let's try to swipe up. Look at that. That is so freaking cool. So now it is in the dynamic island. So if I ever do want to control it, I just long press on it. And I can skip songs and I can scrub that is super freaking convenient. That is extremely freaking cool. I am very excited about the Dynamic Island, and of course it goes away once it is gone. So wow, that is super freaking cool. So I'm installing that because that is interesting. Anyways, wow, Dynamic Island that is just so freaking cool. I forgot about a new mode called Always on Lock Screen. So actually I'm listening to music right now. So it shows the full album art in this kind of low power state. And of course, if you then press it, it goes right back up. And if you press it down, look at that. That is kind of cool. Anyways, look at her. She's cool. She is completely fresh. I'm very excited about that. So, all right. So I did get some accessories for this iPhone. Got a Spigen screen protector right here. So this is the screen protector. And I got a Spigen case. I love Spigen. They have really good quality cases and screen protectors. And these screen protectors are the best in the game because it is so stupid easy to install them. So I love them a lot. I just got a clear phone case because the phone is just too nice to not have a clear phone case with. So peel action for that. 
Yo, look at that. That is a hot looking phone. Yo, that looks pretty freaking sick. So now we're going to go into some comparison shots and stuff of the new phone. Let's do it. All right, guys, I do want to give a little bit of comparison between these two phones. So as you can tell, this is, of course, my 13 Pro Max, and this is the 14 Pro Max. So the first thing I want to show is the cameras. Look at these cameras. Oh, my goodness. They are so hugely thick. It's crazy. And then we have these cameras. These I thought used to be thick. Now look at these. Look at this. That is crazy. Look at that, that is freaking crazy. But anyways, here is kind of how they both look. And here is how they both look on the front. So obviously one phone has stuff on it, one phone doesn't. As you can tell, the always on screen always turns back on when you turn around. And then here is the always on screen in just normal active mode. I apologize, the phone looks nasty. Both of them look pretty nasty right now, but look at that. So freaking cool. I really do like the dynamic island. And as you can tell, I do want to focus on this. You can see that the eye holes still exist, unfortunately, but it is not as bad as people think, especially in direct sunlight. But yeah, anyways, here's kind of an iOS 16 comparison. Uh, one phone has a lot more stuff on it than the other one. But anyways, yeah. So stay tuned, I'm going to be doing a What's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max video very, very soon and kind of give you guys a more in-depth review on it. But anyways, this is just kind of a comparison between both phones. All right guys, I did want to do a video quality test on the new front-facing camera of the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I, oh, that looks too good. <laughs> that looks way too good. Oh my god. Oh my god. This camera quality. This camera quality is way too good. Here is the back facing camera quality. Obviously unmatched. iPhone photo quality is just so good. Love it. If you want to see a Halloween room tour, let me know. All right, everybody, that wraps up my iPhone 14 Pro Max unboxing video. If you guys really did enjoy this unboxing, be sure to leave a like down in the description down below, and be sure to subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more iPhone content. I am gonna be posting what's on my iPhone video once I get this phone all set up and fresh. But anyways, here's how they look right now. I'm super excited about this phone. I cannot wait to go more in depth into the dynamic island and really discover the cool new features of this phone. But I'm already loving it a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Anyways, I shall see you guys in the next video. Video and happy iPhone day and I'll see you guys in the next video.